Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Schaffner. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you are here today. In today's video, I'm going to share with you everything I am taking to the buy sell trade store to hopefully trade up. I purchased everything I'm going to share with you today at the Goodwill Outlet Bins in Colorado. This is the very last of the batch of things I am taking from Colorado to the buy sell trade store. I will let you know in real time what they accepted and what they rejected. And if there is anything that I trade up for, if I have a haul, I will share that at the end of the video. That's all future stuff, guys. So I don't know. You will know before I do. I'm going to jump right into this. I am taking 40 pieces from my most recent thread up bulk purchase. If you missed that video, I will link it in a card above so you can check that out if you want to see the entirety of everything I am taking to the buy sell trade store. I don't know if they will take these guys, but they are new at tags and you can see right there they are North Face. And I didn't know this until I got home. These are a size large, but they are a youth size large. But they are brand new, and I guess if they don't take those, I will list them myself. This video is going to be a little bit different than past videos in that nothing has been steamed or lint rolled at this point. Usually I am sharing things with you as I am packing the bags, but I thought I would share everything with you as I am getting it sorted and ready to steam. This is a little star sweater, which I normally like selling stars anything. This is splendid. This one is a size of medium. And again, I will happily list that one if they won't take it from me. This is a men's shirt. It is marmot. It's a size large. And I don't know what I'm doing as far as men's wear goes with them. Okay, I found a pair of true religion jeans. And these are men's jeans. I would say that these are like new. They still have this on them. No tags, but they have this attached to it. But they do have some wear. I saw a hole. Yeah, right here on the hemline, there's a little hole there. But I don't know. That could be manufactured, although that would be the only distressing on these men's true religion jeans. I hope that they take these. This is a brand I do not do well with. When I first started reselling, I had my own personal true religion denim. I paid $176 for my true religion jeans. I'll never forget that because that was a lot of money to spend on one pair of jeans. They took over two years to sell and they sold for less than $15. So that is not a brand that I pick up at all. But I do see it at the buy sell trade store. So I hope they want this. This is balance collection and it's a size extra large. They normally like to take my athletic wear and this one is kind of a snake print. This one guys is a Nordstrom house brand. Looks like a little safari top. This one is by the brand Caslon. It's a size medium. It is pretty substantial too. A button front. I don't know. I think it looks like a safari top. So I will tie that up and make it look beautiful. Um, so this is an anthro skirt and I think it's adorable. I just don't have any luck selling skirts and so I am not listing skirts any longer. I didn't bring many skirts home, but the buy sell trade will take skirts for me. You can see right there, it does have like a 3D uh, on it. Really, really cute, like almost like a patchwork embroidered uh, bit there. This is by Odile, which is an older anthropology brand. It's a size six. It's absolutely adorable, really, really cute skirt. I'm not going to list that. I hope they want it. Otherwise, I will send it to thread up. This is Express and it's a size medium. And are we a dress? A little navy blue faux wrap dress by Express. They really, really like Tommy Hilfiger. This is Tommy Hilfiger. It feels like silk, but the tags have been removed as well as the size tag on this one. So this is something that I will have to list myself if they don't want it because I cannot send it to thread up. But this is in great condition. It's just missing its size tag. I got excited when I found this in the bins and I don't know why because I have not been able 
to sell this brand. This is a brand that I have had to send to the real real every single time I get it, but this is such a cute piece. It is strapless. It does have those little bits there where you could add straps, but the straps are not included. This is a wide leg tweed jumper and the brand is Coryland Coulter and it is a size six. It does have a zip in the back. It has pockets. There's a little pleating detail there. This is great for the current season. There is a stiff boning in the bodice and there's a silicone strip. I have seen this brand at the Buy Sell Trade Store. I actually love the clothing by this designer. I'm just not able to move it and I have tried it on several occasions. Do you have any luck with Corey Lynn Coulter? Please let me know in the comments below because this is a brand I have historically sent to the real real and they are able to move it for me. I don't make a whole lot of money, but I am no longer consigning with the real real. Fingers crossed that the buy sell trade wants them. I do have a couple pairs of overalls here. This is American Eagle Mom overall and these are in a size, are these 10? These are a size 10? They sure don't look like a 10 to me. That's what the bib looks like. And I do like selling overalls. I I don't know why I'm taking these to the buy sell trade store. Maybe I should reconsider that. Or maybe I should just get them steamed up and take them there. This is another pair. I think this pair is Forever 21. Yeah, Forever 21. And these are a size 29. And this is just a denim bib overall. They're more like a pant, a pair of denim jeans with a bib attached because they're all straps in the back. They are heavily distressed. So overalls can be a little difficult to photograph. I think that's my reasoning behind taking them. This is by A Dreamly and it's new with tags. I don't know if they'll take this. I don't want to list this myself. This is a cold shoulder top with a little lattice detail. It is new with tags, just a stretchy knit. This is a pair of shorts by the brand Soothfeel, size small. They're a pair of running shorts, and I did look these up. I think I could probably sell them. They do, they're like famous for having a pocket on the side. I can't find that pocket. They, here it is. <laughs> they have a media pocket on the side. These are like new and sold on Amazon. They do have a little reflector there, running shorts, like new. I don't know. I don't know if they'll want that brand. This is um, Jeep. Can't sell it. I love it, but I can't sell it. Uh, this is what this looks like. A button front top by MG. This is a size large. This is a brand I picked up that I didn't know much about it. I looked it up only when I got home. Uh, Athena Marie, these are a size medium. And these are kind of a microfiber pull-on, like jegging. They do look like faux suede. They are in kind of a mustard brown gold color. They're very, very nice. They feel very luxurious. They just don't resell for much, but they're perfect for the season. So I thought, why not try them at the buy sell trade? Oh, I hope I don't have to iron this. This is Columbia. I found this in the bins and I thought it was a scrub top, but this is just a men's top by Columbia. The size is 2XL. It's in really, really great condition. Like it doesn't feel like it's been washed much. I hope that one will uh, steam up quickly, nicely. This is Rag and Bone. I think these are small too. These are a size 27, white, skinny, Rag and Bone with a zip detail on them. There's a teeny tiny little spot right there. And these have been cleaned and spot treated and that's as good as they came. I haven't been having much luck with Rag and Bone and that's why I opted to take it there. Who are you? Oh, this is Athleta. This is Athleta, size medium. Really nice tank, a little ruching on the side there and also a little ruching on the top. I'm taking this to the buy sell trade because it is just so plain and they love athletic wear and I would rather have some shoes. This is Under Armour, size small. This tank has a lot of mesh on it. It kind of opens on the side and has all that mesh trim. 
It's a beautiful kind of teal patterned tank top. Who are you? I've forgotten. All of this is new to me. Oh, this is Abercrombie and Fitch, size extra large. I used to pass this brand up all the time, but this is kind of a cool shirt, right? I think this is a men's shirt, extra large, tie-dye. It almost looks like a floral, right? Really pretty and super, super soft. Do they have a name on this one? The soft ANFT, extra large. Is that a woman's? I think that's a men's. You know what? It's not my problem. They can determine who it is. This one is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. And this is a button front shirt. And I was excited about this until I discovered that this is actually a men's shirt. The buttons are on the right side. You know how I always remember Mr. Right, <laughs> Mr. The buttons on the, are on the right side for men's and that's the case with this. And I just don't enjoy selling men's clothing. This is a size large men's Ralph Lauren denim and supply. That's everything from the bins. I am taking another bag from Thread Up. So I will be back momentarily to wrap up this video. And if, is there a haul? Is there a haul? Fingers crossed. I have a few items to share with you guys. Hold on. I'm back. Thank you for sticking around, guys. It was a great day at the Buy Sell Trade Store. I have some notes here. Um, but truth is, it's a few weeks later. And I have been to the Buy Sell Trade Store four times. Four different occasions have I gone in to trade and sell my clothes at the Buy Sell Trade Store. And everything that I just shared with you, all 25 items, I took to the first Buy Sell Trade Store with 40 items from my first thread up bulk box that I didn't want to sell myself. So I took 65 items into that very first buy sell trade store and they accepted 48 items. It was my best trip ever to date. They paid me $218.50 in in-store credit. I use that credit to purchase things that I'm excited to sell or sometimes I do purchase things for myself and I try out new brands and items that I've heard about and if I like them, I keep them. If not, I resell them. So that first trip, they paid me $4.55. That was the average price I got per piece. I thought that was pretty good. I purchased five items. I spent $68.93 of my credit. I am going to show you all five of those items in But just I want to tell you what I did with the remaining items items that they didn't buy. I brought them home, I steamed them up, folded them up, and I took them with the next lot to the buy sell trade store. Now guys, this one was a little bit different because I had to go get my mother's car service. So I went to the other side of town and I thought I'm going to stop at the buy sell trade before I come home. So I googled buy sell trade near me and it was 0.3 miles from the dealership. So I just turned the corner when I got the car and went to the buy sell trade store. It's exact same buy sell trade store. I do use Uptown Cheapskate. I just went to a different location and they purchased 33 items. Most of these items came from my second thread up bulk box, but I took the remainder of the items that the first buy sell trade store didn't want and they bought 33 items and they gave me $143.75 in store credit. Now guys, this buy sell trade store is quite a distance from me. So I really was shopping and trying to spend without going over. That was really important for me because I'm in a no spend November and I ended up spending $123.34 on nine items. So I still have $20 credit at that buy sell trade store. The good news is it never expires. So I do imagine that I will make my way back there again. On my way home, I stopped at my regular buy sell trade store with what was left over from the first one. They purchased 13 items from me and paid me $55.75 in store credit. And that is an average sale price of $4.28. Did I mention the second store, uh, paid me $4.35 per piece. So the truth is it's going down each time I'm doing this, but $4.28 at the third 
stop, I purchased two items for $18.55. My fourth and final trip to the buy sell trade store, I took everything from box one, two, and three of my thread up bulk boxes, but I also took everything that had not sold from the items that I previously showed you. So it's if it didn't sell, it just stayed in that box. I did refresh it before I took it back. And this time they purchased 26 items. They paid me $106.25. That's an average sale price of $4.08. I purchased eight items and I spent $87.68. So in total, I have earned in the last four trips, and I'm talking about four stores, uh, at the Buy Sell Trade Store, $524.25. I've moved 120 pieces that I did not want to sell myself. I consider that a win. I spent $298.50. So I still have some credit. I like to use that credit on the first of the month. They run a great big sale. And when I can make it to that sale, I like to stock up. I will not be going to that sale, unfortunately, in December because I've got big plans for December and I'm just working on getting everything listed. I just did the math, guys. I spent $298.50 in store credit on 22 items, which brings the average cost per piece that I picked up to $13.56. That's a pretty high cost of goods, a cost of goods that I would be uncomfortable with if I was just paying out of pocket, out of my business account, that would make me uncomfortable. I love this less risky way of being able to buy up. So let me know what you think. Now, some of these items I am keeping for myself. I am going to give these a try, guys. I tried them on. They are uber comfortable. A pair of on cloud, on running, uh, running shoes. These are in a very neutral color. You're probably surprised that I uh, won't want to wear a neutral color like this. You guys, these are absolutely like new. I mean, they have been worn. I did wash them and sanitize them, and then I thought I should try these on. I originally got these to resell because they resell very, very quickly, but I tried them on and they were so comfortable. I am going on a little trip, and I thought these are nice and new and would be very comfortable for the trip that I am going on. So I'm going to give these a spin, see what all the hype is about, because people love these shoes, and although I won't be running in them, I think that they will be a great shoe for the trip that I am going to take. So if I don't like them, I will not hesitate to bring them home, clean them up, and get them sold. You're going to see a lot of that in this haul. In fact, let me put a picture right here of a pair of jeans that I am not selling. I am keeping for myself. I did include the jeans in the 22 count because I did buy them with store credit. And this is a pair of Judy Blue, my favorite brand of denim ever in the whole wide world. This was a pair of relaxed denim. I have this style already. I just don't think you can have too many. So, and this one also had a bit of a tapered leg. So I was excited. I've already worn them. They are in the wash right now. That's why I can't share them with you. But next up, another pair of shoes. We're going to start with shoes. These were so cute. These were on the sale rack. These cost me $5. They have a little shelf with sale shoes. And most of these shoes, I think all of the shoes except the on cloud came from the sales shelf. These are J. Crew Factory. There you can see it. J. Crew Factory. This is like a raspberry pink velvet slip-on skater sneaker in a size eight and a half. And you guys know, this is right up my alley. I like this style. These shoes are super clean. I'm sure they've been worn. They're in great condition. Next up is a pair of tennis shoes. These were also on the sale rack. This is a pair of Sorel tennis shoes. These were dirty. That's the thing about the buy sell trade store. You can trade dirty shoes. They will sell dirty shoes. So I did bring these home and scrub them, threw them in the wash. They are stuffed right now, but this is just a pair of Sorel Kinetic tennis shoes. This is what the soles look like. And these are in a kind of tan. I think they look a little bit blush pink. 
neutral colors and there is a little gray on the back of them and these are a really good size I think these are these are a ten and a half and they cleaned up beautifully I think I added value to these shoes just by getting them clean because they were a little rough I'm not sure I would have picked these shoes up had they not been on the sales rack these are a pair of All Saints, and these are a size seven, so they're a little bit small. These were super dusty, and all I did was bring them home and give them a good brush, uh, clean up the outsoles with a magic eraser. This is what the bottoms look like. This is a brand I really like, so I do try to add it to my stores when I can find it. The comps look pretty good on these shoes, not spectacular, but I am happy that I'm able to add these to my store, size seven. I, that's an average size. I won't complain about a size seven, although I honestly prefer larger size shoes. But yeah, these are in great condition after I got them brushed. This is the final pair of shoes. I picked these up at the Buy Sell Trade Store by the car dealership, the one that I never go to. And this was the last thing I picked up as I was kind of calculating my total in my head. I thought, I think I can afford these. These were actually $13, right on par with my cost of goods. Um, I love these and these are not a leather shoe. I just love the style of this shoe. Look at that big chunky chain on them. Now these are, you're not gonna be able to see the brand was stamped right there and it did say Cape Robbins and I did find comps, let me get this, I found comps on these shoes and I should be able to sell these around $25. These are a size eight. They're a little bit too short for me. I really wanted to give these a try. They are in excellent condition, all man-made synthetic, but really fun shoes. I really needed denim for my closet. I'm going to go through this denim really, really quick with you. This animal print kind of patchwork denim. These are Alice and Olivia. There is the tag. These are new with tag, size 32. And I was so excited to get these. I recently sold uh, Alice and Olivia jeans, so um, they don't sell super fast, but they did sell for me in less than 60 days. Next up, I'm not even sure, Le Jeans. These are a size 32. These are a relaxed fit. You can see the released hem. I did cut off some of those strings because the strings were pretty excessive. I don't mind them, but some of them, oh, this one, see, I might need to remove that. It's just a little bit ratty. I do like the released hem, but they will get a little bit more distressed with every wash, but these were in good condition and I did try them and I did consider them for myself, but I decided to only keep the Judy Blue just because I really need denim uh, to sell right now. So I got these Lejeans. Next up, I got these A Goldie jeans and a little bit of distressing. They're also a really light wash. Is light wash still in? These are a size 26 A Goldie. They're in great condition and this is a brand I've had super luck with, but I don't find it very often. So I hope that is manufactured. You think it is? I hope it is. Anyway, I'm gonna sell them. This is a pair of Madewell. I find Madewell a lot in my thrift stores, and I'm pretty particular about the Madewell I picked out, but I was excited about these because I've never sold this style before. I've never found this style before, so I thought, okay, I'm going to try them out. This is the perfect high-rise vintage crop. It doesn't look like a crop, though. That's a pretty long inseam on these, but they're in great shape. They feel like a rigid denim. They only have 1% spandex in them. I tried these on myself and I prefer like 2% spandex. This is 1% spandex and they do feel like a rigid denim. Excited to try these out. Next up is a pair of denim. I was real excited to find these. They do have that mixed wash on them. The raw hem mixed wash, which I love this. A little bit of distressing on these. I was so excited to find these guys. This is Anine Bing. And 
I recently discovered this brand. I found a pair of boots by this brand. They sold so fast. And then I found the denim. I ran comps. The comps look good. This is a brand that is very sought after. Who knew? I wonder how many times I have passed this up before because now I'm actually looking for it. These are a size 26, I believe, and they're in very good condition. Excited to have found Anine Bing again. Next pair of denim, new with tags which is always nice and this is a wide leg crop pant with this really big hem on it and the contrasting stitches and they look like this do you see the tag I got so excited but guys these are a great size this is Alice and Olivia they are a size 30 it is new with tags they retailed for who knows who knows it doesn't say the retail price and this is one of those if you remove me you can't return me um, but anyway they look like this real excited about these these may not sell until springtime I don't know if people are wearing crops in the winter time you could probably wear some tall boots knee boots with a pair of pants like this but this made me very happy true story I found these jeans and I threw them in my cart. I have a little pull along cart I carry with me at the buy sell trade store. And I was kind of thinking about them because these are Reformation and I love selling Reformation. I think these are a size 26, 27, maybe they're not, let me check. No, these are a size 28. The uh, distressing in them looks like uh, this is more than manufactured. I think it's been blown out a little bit more than what it was supposed to be. Other than that, they are in marvelous condition. I really like this style of denim. These are called the Winona Butterfly. Uh, they are a button fly. Winona, I love that name, guys. I love Winona Judd, if you were wondering. But anyway, what happened is I threw these in my cart and I was like, should I get these, should I not? Because I had some Reformation jeans that in my closet that I was selling and they got a lot of attention, but they had been there a while and hadn't sold. They sold while I was in the buy, sell, trade store. I thought that was a sign for me to bring these home, so I did. <laughs> yeah, that's the story. The next few items I am going to share with you are not listed yet. I will list them when I return from my little vacation. I thought I would, I'm actually shopping for cold weather gear for myself. And I got this and I brought it home. I washed it. I steamed it. I think it might be a men's. This is a size large. I found it in the women's section. I definitely think it will fit me. I'm just not sure if I will like the fit. I don't wear a lot of men's clothing. This is Patagonia size large, kind of a teal and a blue raglan organic cotton top. It feels really, really nice and I thought this would be perfect for my trip. Next up is a Patagonia Cinchilla. This is a women's large. And I like when they say whether or not there are men's or women's, but this one is a woman's large Patagonia. It's in pretty good condition. When I found it at the buy sell trade store, it was super, super wrinkly. Like someone had taken it off their closet floor and took it directly to buy sell trade store. So I did wash it and steam it and get it cleaned up. It's uh, purple, not one of my favorite colors, but I do think that it will be great for uh, where I'm going. And you guys know, this is more my speed. This is another Patagonia. Wow, I didn't even realize how neon this looks. It's not as neon as the camera is picking up. This one is an extra large Patagonia. And there it is. Same thing. This is the quarter snap. I like this one a lot. Again, it does have the purple trim on it and I will be taking this one on my vacation. This is the final Patagonia piece that I picked out. It doesn't look like typical Patagonia in my estimation. It doesn't have any of the branding on it, but you can see the tag there. It does say Patagonia. This is a women's large. It is 100% polyester. It does zip up and it has this snap closure so it can be worn 
up like that. It does have pockets and I think it's a nice piece. It's Patagonia and there is a big demand for Patagonia this time of year. So I decided to bring this one home. This next piece, it's purple and I love it. And I am so surprised how much I love this piece. I have been wearing this almost nonstop. It's been washed twice since I picked it up. So this is just a, oh my gosh, the softest fleece, like a Sherpa uh, quarter zip. It is made well. There is no size on it. And I don't even think it had the interior tags. Yeah, the interior tags were cut out of it. That did not stop me from getting it because I thought this is what I need. Warm weather clothing. It does have a elasticized cuff and the cuff is a little bit large for me. So I do think that wind will go up your arm unless you are, I don't know, would this be a 1X maybe? Because I am like a true extra large and this one's just, it's so comfortably oversized on me. I love it. It feels so plush. So this one may never get listed. I really enjoy it. And it's actually the perfect weight for me to wear out and about when I'm running errands here in New Mexico. Only a few more pieces. Thank you for sticking around, guys. And they're all sweaters. This one is Everlane. This is actually a navy blue. It looks really, really dark, almost black. But trust me, it's navy blue. And it's blowing out the lights. So this one is a merino wool and cashmere blend and so Everlane is not doing that great for me anymore but the sweaters are still performing better than the denim so I did decide to bring this home you know I kind of went back and forth because this brand like I said is not moving quickly but I do think because this is a nice quality sweater I decided to bring it home. This one is a size small, so yeah, I took a gamble on this one. Hopefully I can move it before the end of the year. Now this sweater I love. This one was on sale. This one was 50% off. It had been there for a while because with my buy sell trade store, they will first mark things down 25% with a red stamp, I think, or a blue stamp. And then again, it will go after it's been there and overstayed its welcome, it gets a 50% off stamp. And that's when I found this. I was so surprised nobody picked this beauty up. Look at how pretty it is. This one, a brand I love. <laughs> this is All Saints. This is the Spitalfields. Um, what size are you two? It's a good size, a U.S. size eight. And this is wool, angora, cashmere. It is a little bit fuzzy if you can see that. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but such a fun and funky piece in really nice condition. This one is lightweight, but mohair, you don't need a big heavy weight a sweater when you're wearing mohair. So I had to bring this one home. I was more excited about it being on sale that I found it after so many people had passed it up. This is a beauty. It deserves a good home. The last two sweaters, guys, they are gold stick a round. Now this is a very classic looking cashmere cardigan sweater, button front cardigan sweater. And it does have some stuff on it. See, there's a little stuff right there. Do you see the tag on this? Brunello Cuccinelli. And this one is, I think it's a size large. It does have an interior tag that does say Brunello Cuccinelli on it. It looks a little bit old. It also has, the, this is a size medium, but the interior tag also has branding on it. So that was a plus. Yeah, this one needs a good scrub down and it's 100% cashmere. This is a very, very, very expensive designer. I have only found this twice and I was ecstatic to find it, but it's dirty and I was, I, I'm not even sure guys if that is paint or can I get it off right now? I have to work on this. I do not hesitate to hand wash all of my knits, all of my sweaters, but I'll tell you what, I'm a little nervous about this one and the next one, I'm going to do it, which, which is probably crazy because the comps on this designer are out of this world, very, very good. 
I don't know. This one is really a very classic piece, but it is 100% cashmere. There is not a hole or a stain. It's just these little, it almost reminds me of food, like it got some food on it. Yeah, I'll keep you posted, guys. I think you will see this piece in a What Sold video, but just hold on, hold on. I lost it when I found this sweater. Okay, let me show you the back first because I don't want to reveal the brand. Uh, so this is the perfect ribbed cashmere, 100% cashmere sweater. It does have a deep V on it. It looks like this. It is in phenomenal condition. It did have pet hair on it and I have lint rolled it and cleaned it up a bit. I have not hand washed it yet. I am going to hand wash it because I am taking this sweater on vacation with me. I tried it on. I love the fit. I love this sweater, guys. I am ecstatic. I found Tom Ford 100% cashmere. I'll tell you what, I don't know if I knew that Tom Ford made clothing. I knew that he makes the best fragrances in the whole wide world and a lot of sunglasses, but I have never seen Tom Ford clothing. I don't see it in the resellers that I watch. They're not hauling this. I was ecstatic when I found this. They had this marked at $39.99. I picked this up on the first day I bought the five things. I was with my husband and he was like, that looks like a red sweater. And I said, this is my Christmas sweater. I am going to wear this on vacation. I will decide if I want to keep it for a season, maybe wear it for Christmas and sell it next year. Guys, I am going to sell this piece. The comps on eBay are anywhere from $70 up to about $300, but this sweater possibly retailed for up to $3,000. So there's some money here and I will have to resell this piece. I don't have to, but yeah, you know I'm going to. So that's it, guys. That is the gem of this entire haul. Probably my entire month or maybe even year. This was a fabulous find. You've already seen the rest of the rack, assuming you watch all of my videos. And to those of you that do watch all of my videos, I love you. Thank you so much for showing up for me. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and join me for a future video. Let me know what was your favorite piece that I found at the Buy Sell Trade Store. I'll tell you what, guys. I am really, really enjoying using the buy-sell trade stores in my business. I am able to add brands and items to my stores that I, number one, either don't find in my thrift stores, or if I do, they're priced too high for me to make a profit on it. So this is a strategy that has helped me to increase my average sale price. So yeah, it's working for me. And thank you very much for just showing a little interest today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Is it the Tom Ford? Is it the Tom Ford? Or is it my new tennis shoes? Or is it the Patagonias that I'll be wearing? I'm so excited about my little vacation wardrobe, but rest assured, it will all get listed eventually. I will see you very soon with the next video. Blessings to all of you.